Okay, it's been a little while since I did a vlog about my car. There's been a lot of updates and actually there's been a lot of questions um, with regards to the things I've done to my car. Um, needless to say, you guys saw a couple episodes with um, me and Sean Church uh, fine tuning the C8 along with my dog. That was pretty cool. But now it's about the cosmetics. Now, on the externally, my car overall is pretty, just what I would say stock. I did do the front lip here in the front because I have a Z51 package. I did drop it a little bit. I put the size skirt on and I did a wrap. I did a wrap where I didn't want this part of the bodies to be completely uh, the original uh, OEM color, the rapid blue. I did wrap this um, to be black. Per se, so it make it gives it a different, a, a slightly different vibe per se, right? But then comes the interior. The interior wise, I didn't do anything whatsoever, um, and I think I'm about to change that. And as usual, lots of boxes from Amazon, um, mostly Amazon. I didn't even do AliExpress this time around. You guys are gonna see, and, and these things are featherweight, so you can kind of guess what it is. It's not gonna take very much for you guys to figure out what it is, but what I'm gonna tell you is that there was a lot of work um, in ordering these things because there's so many variations, parts, and what might fit and what might not fit. These are all of the things that I order from Amazon. I don't think I got anything from AliExpress. Maybe one or two minor parts, but I'll keep showing you. Okay, so I got my son here to help me record some of this stuff, but I put all the boxes, like I said, all right here. This is everything that I order from Amazon. And I'm going to show you one piece and then you guys can kind of guess what it is. Let me show up and get a good piece out. Nicely wrapped. And, and of course, these are voila, carbon fiber. Not the fake stuff, real carbon fiber. So, yes, these are order, all order from. Uh, Amazon and it'll be really interesting because um, I'm going to decorate the entire I'm not gonna stick it on yet because as you can tell these things have a red tape to stick it on I'm gonna lay it out first I'm gonna first lay it out and see how I like it and see what pieces I want to keep or do I want to keep all the pieces you see one of the things I really hate about this car I don't care for the aluminum. Although it is a, a somewhat upgraded material, I, under, I think is, it is real aluminum that they use. Um, I just don't like it. I, 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 for me, I think it's too shiny. So what I'm gonna do is a lot of the pieces that it's aluminum, for sure, I wanna replace with carbon fiber. But then, as I go through it, there's gonna be a lot of these parts also. It's gonna be carbon fiber, I think. Woo, that took some time. Um, I literally just unpacked everything. So here you go. Okay, so I just finished unpacking everything. Um, speedometer trim, paddles, um, the, the, the lock and the lock button, the window visor, the, the trim for the steering wheel, the button, the trims for the silver, the door, um, you know, A pillars or, you know, pillars um, on door. Um, the center console, here's this full center console and the other piece, center speakers, the waterfall, the side trims, the steering wheel column, and of course, even the steering wheel. I'm gonna lay those out and then I, I kinda want you to see it. Again, 
here is how it is right now. We'll see in a couple more minutes. Hey you guys, it took me a little time. Oh, I am finally done because I did do a lot of work. There were a couple pieces that I wasn't too happy with, especially the way it fit, fit it. Uh, but overall, I would say that I gave it a, a pretty decent rating. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I got. So again, speaker grill, side here, um, and then the buttons here on both sides. The trim all the way through, and this is this is where the centerpiece here is, where I'm really happy about. Um, if you can see, I did the gear shifters all throughout. It's carbon fiber here. Um, this is all carbon fiber, and then the waterfall and also speaker. I cover majority of the of the silver. Um, I changed out the steering wheel. If you can tell, I do have the LED light, and they do work. Um, right now, it's a little late. I got to pull the car back in, but I'm not gonna really record it with it on but it does come on it just it doesn't have the digital rating it just has the um the, the lights the red and then so forth um all the control still remains the same it works so it's i like it a lot more i thought at, at first i didn't i didn't know what to do it was going to be a two-tone how i was going to do this but now it just i'm i'm really happy with how this part turned out uh so everything matches um i don't know um, it was not a cheap proposition, that's for sure. Oh, I also did the dash here, dash trim, um, and then up here. It wasn't a cheap proposition. Um, I would say that it's uh, it's um, a little bit of patience in getting the parts, but overall, it, it's um, it's really cool. I think I need to get one more piece. Um, is this triangle piece right here? It bothers me a little bit. I, I don't have. It's not a huge deal. Original, I'd still have a piece right here, but it just didn't fit well. I try my best to to stick it on and so forth, but it just really didn't fit well. Um, I also have a soft um, carbon fiber piece I might try out here. Uh, it is real carbon fiber. It's just soft, but it's just a sticker. So I don't know how um, what I'm going to do about that. Hey, you guys, what's up? Uh, it took me a little bit of time to finish up everything just because um, I, I did more. So let me show you. So a couple of people were asking, what else did I do? Not only that I did um, the carbon fiber, but I went ahead and also did the LED trims. Um, some people like them, some people don't. But in a grand walk around um, of the entire car, I got carbon fiber up here, uh, the dash trim here, LED here and then along the way I did all through the center console here again all the way through the waterfall oh I also put lights in the engine and then on the on the doors I finally got the triangle pillar here um, and then a uh, the um, the side of the door speakers I mean really did a carbon fiber out uh, even down here oh even the steering wheel column here is carbon fiber and of course the steering wheel did the red button um, overall I think the project turned out pretty well um, needless to say again like like I mentioned earlier this is not a cheap proposition um, but I think it just needed to be done for me I enjoyed it a lot more now because all, majority, if not all, of the silver is gone, which I do like. Don't get me wrong, the silver is cool. Uh, it's just not for me. I think, um, I mean, there's a lot of criticisms where, why didn't you just get the Z06, right? The Z06 has all the uh, um, carbon fiber um, and then has the flat crank engine, which sounds great, I admit to it. Uh, but again, for me, I think it was the fact that I like to modify cars and do certain um modifications and edits that I like and I enjoy. Um, all of this was not hard. The twin turbos was a little bit tougher. It was heavy on the price side. The interior here, if you go on to either, um, these are, by the way, these are overlays. These are not replacement parts. But 
if you can get the good ones and good fit like the jargon ones um they they fit pretty well i did it to my other car my super before and now i'm doing it to i uh, did it on c8 uh it, it fits well I, I think i think if you take the time to to mount it correct and make sure you uh purchase the appropriate adhesive tapes uh they work fine so i i never had problems with the steering wheel itself I personally would like the steering wheel to have um, what I would say to you is that I'd rather have the digital readout rather than just an LED bar. But unfortunately, there, there, one, I couldn't really find it. There was only a certain amount of vendors that would do it. That's the number one. Two, um, it, it, the price difference was just huge. It was literally almost double. Um, I think overall, I like this. Of course, I liked it. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep it. But, um, you know, we'll see how long I keep this car because uh, for the people that know me, once I'm finished modding a car, I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. Um, the grand scheme of things on, on the entirety of the car, the car is running twin turbos now. It's custom tuned by uh, Church Automotive. They did an excellent job. They did literally like four or five iterations because some of the sounds were not what I was trying to achieve. I don't want that really uh, lots of pops and bangs, but I like the Burbo. So that took a lot of work to get that refined. And then the power delivery. Uh, what I would say to you is that the car is extremely strong for what it is. Um, while I can't show it to you in, on video, when I was down in Mexico, I gave it a run on the Z06. The, on Z06. Um, I will attest to you, the Z06 didn't do too well against this twin turbo setup. Uh, to be fair, I am about 50 uh, horses and torque uh, greater than them. So, you know, from that perspective, I should do uh, do better, right? Um, and from a tuning perspective, I have a lot more headroom. Uh, the Z06 items and, and then the uh, E-Raid, all the items that's just starting to come out on a C8 traditional Stingray platform. Uh, we know the ETS kit that comes with the turbos can easily push up to 1,100 horses. Uh, but... Then comes the clutch and the TCM tune and all that good stuff, which has not been unlocked yet, as of as of current. That's my understanding, but that's to be come to be coming. And also the clutch on this car, as many videos and many vloggers as already stated, um, it really shouldn't go above seven and seven fifty. I mean, it, it's it, that's about the pressure point, and it's just a matter of uh, when you're gonna burn that clutch out, not if. So I'm kind of under that higher tolerance part where i'm close to that ledge already but the car drives very well it responds as well um and like uh, my other videos uh stated now because of with the custom tune and because this has a y-band ecu accommodation um the tuner was able to achieve a e50 mix already without any fuel pumps whatsoever so that is doable as long as your guy knows what he's doing uh, two don't know what they're doing they're going to be able to achieve that and that should give you the extra horses and torque and so forth uh here out in california e, e, uh, e85 is is somewhat available um so i do have i'm running e50 on this car most of the time downside is that i have not installed a uh, ethanol reader yet that's going to be coming but uh, that's going to be unnecessary because um i, I don't want to have any type of havoc as i run this car pretty hard um, and also, as I was alluded down to, once you get past the 700 mark, it's really hard to put the power down on the street unless you're just on a racetrack or, or, or drag strip, which I'm not doing any of that. Um, um, even though out here in Cal Southern Cal, the other morning, 8, 7, 38 a.m. on a Sunday, cars was just running extremely hard. I can hear it because I have a couple of strips here. It's pretty uh, frequent uh, people running that. I just hope they're safe. Um, you know, I'm going to admit while I step on the gas, I just don't do that anymore. It's, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea. I'm too old for that. Um, you know, if someone pulls up next to me on the freeway, it was, if I have a straightaway, I'm going to give it a little run, a little pep and give it, you know, a little bit of a, you know, just a burst to see how, how it goes. But the car can hold its own. Um, you know, I would say that bottom line is that the bang for the buck on the C8 is spectacular. Um. Like I've mentioned to you, and we saw my private vlogs back in the days. Uh, I started out venturing this world in, in, the, in the traditional type of, you know, Civics and so forth, and some of BMWs. But once I got really serious, when I stepped into the GTR over uh, six years, six, seven years ago, 
when I modded that GTR, it was a lot of fun. But the architecture was just so archaic. Not saying that it's bad. It's just very archaic. And now, with the C8 architecture, while it's still combustion engine, IC, uh, internal combustion engine, ice engine, um, the car, bang for the buck, just a tremendous value. If you can get it, especially now, MSRP and below. Because we are, COVID's over and the pandemic's over and the price, car prices are starting to come down. Especially on the C8. So keep eye out for that. Depending on what trim. My trim started out to be the 3LT with the Z51 package. I'm not going to go into details what does that entail. But uh, it comes with a host of goodies already. And all I did was continue modifying and go on top of that. Um, carbon fiber, turbos, tune. Um, I dumped a little bit more money into it, but it's it's a it's a good car. Compared to, I think the most comparable car that I had compared to this is still probably going to be the NSX because of the seating position and the mid-engine uh, layout. Um, but we're still talking about a good quarter to 30% less than the NSX, and they don't produce the NSX anymore. This Corvette, they're going to still, I mean, GM is going to grind the heck out of this platform for years to come still. Because, like I said, they started out the C8 uh, Stingray, then they came out with the E-Ray, uh, then they came out with the uh, Z06, and, you know, I think the Z07, which is the iteration of the Z06, with the Z51 package on there, um, then the Zoro should be coming out, which is would be the hybrid electric and gas engine uh, two together. So that will be interesting what that type of what, what kind of power that will put out. Uh, I do have draggy numbers, but I am not going to post them. You can IM me or PM me or whatever, uh, or DM me, whatever you like, and I might share them with you, but I'm not going to post these numbers. What I would say to you is that I'm happy with those numbers and the car is quick. Um, and something comparable, no, it's not quicker than my flat. It, it's just, it's just not possible. I mean, right now, for the money, it's, it's just not quite there. But it is a quick car, and, and it is a very respectable quarter mile car. Uh, with all that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching it. Um, hit the subscribe button because, um, again, all of this is doing it out of love, a passion for the car, and nothing more. Till then, peace out, and um, stay safe. Take care of yourself.